so to close out, um, we just wanted to revisit the uh, work plan activities that we've reviewed yesterday, um, thinking about what we're going to propose for next year. And then um, Malika and Billy, do we need to line uh, will give some final remarks. Um, so hopefully I can run through these quickly and then um, you guys can all go and enjoy the weather, et cetera, <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Um, so just to run through um, some of the comments that came up yesterday, and I apologize, I wasn't able to attend the last part of the session when this was discussed. So um, definitely um, tell us if we've missed anything. Um, but I believe, so we've got some work continuing, starting with the guidance, the ident um, selection of identified hotspots for OCV use and strengthening the Gabby process. Um, I believe one of the comments um, yesterday was to add in a piece about um, providing feedback to Gabby on the um, market shaping roadmap. So we've added that in. Um, we have the um, guidelines for de developing the guidelines for allocation of OCV for preventative campaigns, which we've discussed a bit this morning and setting up a subgroup to start tackling that. And then um, the other piece that came from yesterday I don't know if Salim is here yet, um, was supporting the ICG secretariat with a revision of uh, their guidelines as well for countries. And then two things that I've added in um, italicized text at the bottom of the guidance section um, that I felt came up in some of the conversations was perhaps doing a summary of the evidence on um, single dose, duration of protection from single dose OCD, because I feel like that's relevant for reactive use and um, is kind of a piece missing currently in the, at least the published literature, but then also that um, there's been a few studies recently on co-administration and that came up as well this afternoon. So kind of to see if, it, if we can, if we have enough new evidence to put together a, a paper on that. For the operations section, um, continue our plan training and have noted Abishet's request to think about accelerating the training. Um, we were really, as you heard yesterday, and we were really um, excited about it. We we're very happy to see the positive response we got from the countries that attended Nigeria and um, look forward to expanding this into Southeast Asia. Um, and then in the bold is the kind of new or extended piece of this, which is to make sure we've got something online so people can use it as a refresher training or we can expand it to other um, members of MOHs that are interested to um, receive the training as well. Um, and then the other bit we've added that was different to yesterday and you see in italics that include documents on website. I think that was about all the Gavi documents to make sure they're available on the GTFCC website so that countries can easily access them. And um, I noted in the comments that had been collected from the discussion, there was quite a few points on demand and documenting demand. And I've put that in italicized text uh, because um, I'm not sure exactly how it would fit in with the working group. I think we can continue to track country forecasts. I think this has been a useful exercise this afternoon, um, but also um, speaking with Olivia, uh, consider what they did for malaria, which was getting an expression of interest. So um, getting that big picture ideal demand versus that kind of balanced realistic demand versus supply piece. Um, and then continuing with the, the data sharing elements that we mentioned yesterday. And then the last uh, thing I wanted to summarize was the research discussion that you had yesterday. And it seems like the trends were that the, the sort of five identified priority areas were still relevant, but that it was clear that we weren't really doing anything on number three, which is the integration of WASH and OCB, and that that needs to be considered for next year, and that we need more on impact and VE. Um, and then the discovery of vaccines was just noted as not necessarily a priority as such, but something that was ongoing. And then several new areas of interest were highlighted during the discussion, which I've written in the text on the side there. One was um, evidence to demonstrate safe use among pregnant women, um, more evidence on duration of protection and perhaps a kind of lesson learned or case study on Haiti. And then um, 
documenting the impact of controlled temperature chain use of OCV on cholera programs, whether that be improvements in coverage, et cetera, by using it outside of the cold chain. And um, looking at how we're gonna assess vaccine effectiveness post Shankle when that's removed from the market, whether that be more of an adjustment of the uh, regulatory requirements to see what they'll accept, or do we need more studies given different vaccine designs, et cetera. And one thing that Malika and I wanted to flag as well, I think was some discussion yesterday about it, but was we really want to start working on um, strengthening feedback or updates from the research community or from different research studies to the OCD working group. Um, we feel like it's kind of split a little bit between research and applied um, in terms of getting the program moving. So trying to bring that together more cohesively. And so look forward to getting input um, from those involved. Over. So unless anyone has any feedback or have missed anything, I think we managed to do this in less than 10 minutes. So. <laughs> But I'll open it for any questions. No? Okay. That I'll take that as everyone's happy with next year's work and research plan. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>